You know who it is? It's your boy up now as reviews cars. We're back here another day, another video. I hope you're enjoying this segment, the, these discussion videos. Um, I can hear the birds in the back. They got these front row VIP tickets to watch as reviews cars live and direct from the garden. You can hear them going on and on in the back. But yeah, man, I hope you you're enjoying all this content. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the post notifications on so you can get a vi you can get a message as soon as I upload. But yeah, we got another topic today, and the topic of discussion is Mercedes, BMW, or Audi. Which one are you choosing? Um, <laughs> to be honest, like everyone knows already, in it. Like, I I've said in my previous videos. I've I've had a number of Mercedes. I've been around Mercedes. Like my family, like they love Mercedes from day one. So I'm a Mercedes man. I feel like with the BMW, it's just it, there wasn't as much change in like the interior and stuff for ages, man. A lot of people enjoy the BMW. They like the BMW. My brother had a three series as well. Um, a lot of people love BMWs. One of my mates had the 4 Series. We've had a couple 4 Series on the channel. And um, what it is, is you're either Mercedes or you're either BMW. But then now people are going towards Audi as well. So with Audi, they've made a major improvement, man. Like the, the, the cockpit, virtual cockpit, everything, man. Like it's, it's wicked, man. It's mad. The cockpit's mad. The whole dash is mad. The, the, the style of the car is mad, um, technology wise they've improved madly but yeah from what Audi was before to what Audi is now they've made a massive jump man and it's all because of the WAG group. It gives tough competition to BMW and Mercedes because a lot of people choosing these Audis now man. Like we had an Audi A6 on the channel and bloody hell man that was mental. Bro. That looked like, it, it felt like you were in an aeroplane. Um, but yeah, like the A5 we had on the channel, we're going to have another A5 video you're going to see soon. But um, back to the question, Mercedes all the way, man. Mercedes all the way. You get the luxury of the interior. You get, like, it, it just feels, it, it feels like comfort to the maximum. The luxury inside, even if you get, say, like the A-Class or C-Class, compared to if you buy S-Class, or if you, even if you buy like a C63 or S, a E63 or S63, you're getting that luxury regardless. Like even if it's an A-Class, you're getting a luxury. Like it's nice and in, interior is mental. We had the A-Class on the channel and the interior, it was actually nice, man. It was very nice. With the BMW, they're making a lot of changes now compared to how they carried on for time. Like... Before you always saw, like in my video I showed it as well, you always had the same dials, you had the same dashboard style, yeah everything was the same and it was too basic but now I've, they, they're slowly making a transition into competing with Mercedes and Audi with the interior and dashboard but yeah it's, um, it's a lot of changes that are going on in each, each and every brand because obviously they have to catch up with each other. But from beginning, I've been Mercedes and I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to change my mind. It's Mercedes, you get everything. If you're going for Merc, you're getting everything that you ask for. It ticks every single box you need. You can get, you can get sporty, you can get luxury, you can get comfort, you can get family vibe. It's, it's whatever you need. And um, space-wise, Mercedes are good as all. Um, the the whole service the, everything it just counts out but yeah with the bmw they are stepping up like obviously the serve their whole system is very good like the, if you go to a bmw showroom you'd see the servicing everything they treat you well and that's good but with the cars they're making transition and it's good with Audi, they've stepped up onto another level. If you, if you saw Audi, say like 10 years ago, 11 years ago, you'd be like, oh, nah. it, it wasn't all that. 
compared to now. Now the Audis are another level, man. I love the Audi S7, man. I think that looks bad. The RS Q8, I wish I can get one on the channel. I love that, man. But yeah, it's every company is making transitions and you're either with one brand, the second brand or the third brand. But a lot of people I've seen or I've met are leaving Mercedes and BMW to join Audi or other brands. Like, it's, it's, it's whatever you feel is comfortable for you. And um, yeah, man, like Mercedes all the way. It will be Mercedes till I die, man. Mercedes all the way. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like. Well, thumbs up, like, same thing. But yeah, make sure to like. If not, then give it a thumbs up. But yeah, make sure to comment. And also make sure to subscribe and share. Because we got a lot of things planned on the channel, man. We got massive things planned. I've got people coming onto the channel to have discussion videos. And then we're going to have more cars on the channel, more content, better content. So we're, we're looking to expand on another level. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe once again. In a bit, lalas.